Come back and we're going to talk about how to keep my, my baby from getting scratched up in my chuck box. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I'm doing great. Wanted to bring you a quick little video. Um, one of the problems I have with my cast iron is when it's in my chuck box it's in with other pans well it gets scratched up um, you can put rags and stuff in them I guess if you wanted to the downside is, is that rag against the season sucks up any oil that might be on the excess on your pan which is not good you need to have your the oil stay on the pan as much as possible keeps it from rusting so I didn't like that idea and I didn't like keeping it wrapped up with that so I've been looking for a long time um, for something else to keep this in and keep the oil on it and everything so I got to looking and I found this it's made by Camp Made you see that but it's a 10 inch cast iron skillet bag it has got a coating on the inside of it if you can see that it's got a little coating in there so it keeps moisture out of it uh, but it keeps the wall on it and everything I have tested this out with my deep cast iron skillet 10 inch 10 I think it's 10 3 quarters something like that it's got the thick walls it's a fryer but that's how it holds it in there keeps it in there just like that you could hang this actually in a trailer or hang it somewhere if you needed to hang it but uh yeah, it's a pretty nice little bag it's made by camp chef i will put a link down below to all the camp chef stuff on amazon my affiliate link but um i really like this thing it i mean it does a good job keeps it from getting scratched up and it also keeps the oil on the cast iron when it's in it um so that was that was the main purpose behind this was to keep my cast iron and its seasoning intact and not scratched or anything like that so that was what i was looking for uh so now i can put it inside there and it doesn't get bothered and when i pull it out she's ready to go and when i got through cooking clean it up re-season it put it back in the bag once it cools down i will say that you will have to cool it down before you put it in the bag but if you're looking for a solution like that to keep your skillet in that's it I mean I, I mean I I don't know that's like I said this is uh this skillet I think is like a nine nine and a half it's an off-brand skillet one of these days I'm gonna get a better skillet for camping um I won't take my good ones from inside the house I just don't want to take them out there but I will find one maybe it needs to be cleaned up or something bring it to the channel and we'll show you how to clean them real good and get them back into uh cooking shape so anyways um let me know how you take care of your cast iron you take camping i know when we were in scouts that was a big thing is we oiled down the dutch ovens and stuff and you know you heat them up oil them down cool them off put them away we had a wooden chuck bo a wooden box that we actually kept them all in the thing is and thinking back on it they weren't in a bag of any kind they weren't in anything they were just stacked together so you know they were getting scratched and that uh, seasoning you just put on them you know, it's getting ruined and those things being those trainers for weeks on end before they get used again so there were some that you would pull out and they were rusty or um, the seasoning was gone you can see there was no hardly any oil left on them and they would stick every time you cooked with them but I've got this one in pretty good shape. Like I said, I would like to find a little bit bigger one, like a 10, maybe a deep wall, I don't know, maybe a medium wall. Um, I've got shallow and deep in the house, but I've tried both of those in this and they work great. I think both of them, one of them's a 10 and three quarters, um, but it fits in here perfectly fine. No problem whatsoever, and that's the deep wall, so. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Um, kind of short, kind of sweet but uh showing you how I'm protecting my cast iron now in my chuck box see you on the next one be prepared